Alright, VCAM time. And other stuff. Um, yeah, now I'm gonna teach you about the VCAM. I told you that I would, eventually. Um, I may not be that loud because my uncle's kind of gonna. I'm about to sleep. So, bear with me again. Um, I already have Flash open from where we last, last left off. And. I'm too lazy to change anything, but I'm really not even gonna need to. And yeah, I have a full screen. I realized last time I didn't. Um, I only had a small space, and you couldn't see everything. So I had to put annotations so I can tell you what to do. And I, I would, I didn't want to record everything again. That was 25 minutes, and I was too tired. So I'm just gonna move on. Anyway, have your document open. Make a new layer. Well, okay. I'm, you can put it anywhere as long as you can see it. I'm going to put it here or you can put it at the top. Just as long as you can see the cam, it'll work. And you'll be able to use it, of course. Now, I'm, I put the in the links in the description where to download the AS2 B cam or the AS3 B cam. If you have Flash 8, you're going to need the AS2 one. And if you have Flash CS3 or higher, you can use either one. I recommend the AS3 one. Because that's the default document anyway, and that's what I use. So I have it in a document, if um FLA or whatever file. I'm just gonna open it. Open. Um, right here. This can, okay, you can just copy it from the library or here. I'm gonna copy it from here and just paste it in here. And there. That's the VCAM. Yeah, you put the music down. Ugh. Um, yeah. Put headphones or something. Oh. Idiot. Okay. Idiot. Now, what the VCAM is is basically it's it's a camera. Whatever's inside the camera shows. So that should give you an idea of what you can do with it. You can zoom in and out. You can pan left and right. You can shake and turn and and other stuff. In this VCAM, I, I don't know if you can do it on the AS2 one. If you can't, I'm um, sorry. But on this VCAM, you can add filters. Um, you can add a blur to it. So it will actually come out blurry in the export. When you blur, you can add other stuff. You can, um, add, you can change the color. Like if you put it, let's say, um, you make the VCAM, this will tell you what the colors and stuff. You make the VCAM green or something, and you export. Um, I don't know what color I just made it. Yeah, look, the, everything has changed the colors with the VCAM. I, so there you go. Let me reset and take this off. So basically, you you can create your own with the codes, but once again, since you're not ready for action scripting, I just gave you the download link. It, it's a lot easier anyway. And these VCAMs are better because of this color thingy down here. So it's way more useful. Now, um, when you export, you wait, let me take it off. I don't know if there's a difference. Right? How big is this VCAM? Oh, it's almost the same size as the stage. You take it off, you'll see this much, and then I'm going to undo and put it back. And you'll Oh, it's the same. Whatever. Let's let's zoom in. Make it, to zoom in, you make it smaller, and to zoom out, you make it bigger. To pan left and right, that's obvious. So let's zoom the camera in this much. Yeah, it's cl it's closer, way closer. If I zoom it out, you'll see way more. This is because there's nothing there. It's gonna be automatically white or whatever the stage color is for you. You can, you can of course tween the VCAM so you want to zoom zoom from in and out just motion tween it like let's do this whoa sorry press F6 go create motion tween right here make it bigger you can move it up to then you notice it bigger getting bigger you can also use it a pan Left and right. Even if even if um the stage is here and the VCAM is way over here, it'll still show what's in here. Doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go from here.
from uh, let's let's clear this so I can start fresh yeah okay, remove between from here I'm gonna start from here and move it all the way over here it'll do that yeah, it's fast because there's only a little bit of frames but see you can also add you can also add tints like tints this is for changes the color better you can oh god go away down here let me zoom in for you down here you can change the colors like right now it's fully white so when you export everything's um oh no that's only on that, on that frame hold up let me um remove between between and put regular frames down here uh, when you click on the recam and um, you'll see it says color and tint um, you could it now it's fully white so when you export everything's gonna be white or gray whatever this is you change it uh, um, let's say red everything will be red and so you can yeah now you can this is for the transparency um so you can be um, give it like a red lens thing and everything will appear slightly red you can still see you can make it less transparent or more or up to you you'll see only this much and stuff this is good for like white flashes or something or flashes for, or something you can also or, or fades um anyway you can also tween the colors let's say i want to fade into black or something let me change this to let me put none for now uh hold up put what in tween okay in the beginning put the color tint put it to black put it, put it to zero so it won't show and at the end you change the color to of course you put the transparency to 100 and it'll fade to black see and you can do the same thing for any color or you can and if you wanna make it fade from black in you can if you already did did from the fade to black you can easily just select the in the whole tween right click and click on reverse frames and it'll do everything backwards so you it'll fade from black to the um, normal as you can see so yeah there's that's reversing frames as well just right click reverse frames and everything will turn backwards like it see it looks weird but let's undo that control Z to undo and now you're gonna ask me about shaking this you should figure it out by now it's, it's just fun to Random moving the re the v uh, the v cam randomly each frame remove between no twins, so it starts. Oh yeah, let me move the black brightness. You can also do, but that's just for black and white basically. How far in advance? Don't worry about this. This is for color. More um, advanced coloring. Um. So, uh, let me zoom out better. Um, let this go away. Go away. Now, start as a normal here. Then you right, um, you press. Just give another keyframe. You move the camera. Wait. Well, let's make it better. Let's make it only shake on the point of impact, which is right here. Let's start it here. Here it's normal. Next frame. Well, keyframe. Um, you just move it down, I guess. It's whatever. Just make it the directions random, like up. You can do simple up and down, or you can do it um, spontaneous. It, it's better when you do it spontaneously. It makes it seem crazier. At least a hit seems stronger or something. So just keep moving it randomly each frame, and then if you want the camera to keep shaking, you just um, copy the, all the frames of the shake and paste like let's look at this it's not it may not look that good because it's, 
I didn't even try much. Once again, I'm gonna do it crappy just for you guys. See? Shake. Yeah, shaking. Trembling. And yeah, that's pretty much it for Recam. The rest, it's, uh, it's, you should know. Just tween it. Create the frames. Just motion tween everything. You want to pan upwards, you motion tween it upwards. And the last frame, just move it up here in the starting position. You should know this much already. already. And you can zoom in and out and all that. And you can also add a blur. Like, hold up, make it if you can. Cut this off. Blur. You can tween a blur. Like, 